Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at slow virtualization on Windows 11 VMware Workstation. And you can see it on the screen right now, it's really going slow and the performance is not there on this system. And I'm going to show you the reasons why and how you can fix this problem because it's very frustrating and a lot of people do suffer with having a very slow virtualization experience on Windows 11. There's quite a few things you need to check and I'm going to go through them all in this video to show you how to resolve these problems. Now, VMware Workstation is free to use uh, for non-business or non-commercial use. So it's very useful for a lot of people like myself who make YouTube content who just want to record the screen. And I want to record the screen on a nice fresh install every single time. And I can use virtual uh, machines like these. So here we have a very sluggish uh, cursor as well. So what we're going to do is shut down the actual virtual machine and go ahead and try some fixes on this. And I'll show you some of the things you can try to try and rectify the problem. Now, it can be quite a few different things. So the first thing to do is we're going to go into VM and settings. I'm going to go inside options here and go down to advanced inside here and look for this area here that says disable side channel mitigations for Hyper-V enabled hosts. By having this enabled, this can really hinder performance on a virtual machine. So you really do need to make sure you check mark that one and apply this and OK. It's by default, it's on. So you do need to check there. That is one of the biggest culprits. But there's other uh, issues that can happen with this as well. And I'll show you how to fix them as well. So let's go through a command prompt here by typing CMD and run this as administrator to open up command prompt box, just like this one here. From here, you want to type in this command right here. So type bcd edit and then space forward slash set. And then we need to type out all one word here, hypervisor, and then launch. And then after we do launch, we're going to do type, and then we're going to put space, and then we're going to put off. So just as you see on the screen right here, just do this and you should see the operation completed successfully. And now that is completed. So you might want to restart your system after you've done that. But we'll go ahead and continue with some of the other things that you can try on the PC. So let's go ahead and go into your C drive here and then go to program files uh, bracket x86 bracket and then VMware inside VMware workstation go inside here and then go to x64 and in, inside here you'll see a file which is this one right here we need to create a path to this file and we're going to set a, a command for this so let me go ahead and set this out so i'm going to put this command in and copy that extension down the bottom there and i'm going to paste it into notepad here and i'll show you exactly how to set this up i'll leave this in the video description so you can see power config space forward slash power throttle in disable and then space forward slash path and then the path we just got there so i'm going to copy this one right here and we're going to do this inside the terminal window so let's right click on the start button here and we're going to go to terminal as admin there we go click on this one right here and this will open up another black prompt box from here we can put in our command and this is going to disable the power throttling for that system so let's go ahead and push enter and that has now been set you may well need to restart your system again next update your graphics drivers whatever graphics drivers you have on your main pc it's important to have the latest graphics drivers because sometimes uh, there has been bugs that have been uh, posted on the vmware workstation where a certain type of graphics driver or maybe it's a bug and you need to update your graphics drivers. This also can help uh, speed up things as well with your virtual machine. So I'm going to go ahead and download the uh, game ready driver here. And I'm going to install this on my system. And uh, once that's downloaded, I can then go ahead and click on the actual download file and click on the install for that file. And this will go ahead and update my graphics drivers to the very latest graphics drivers. Again, you will need to reboot your system after you've done this as well. So you might want to reboot uh, one at a time and, and see whether that fixes your problem, or you can do them all and then go ahead and restart the system after. So let's go ahead and quickly check the drivers and 
quickly update it. So I'm going to install the NVIDIA graphics drivers and GeForce Experience. If you don't want the GeForce Experience, you can just put the graphics driver on. If you're on AMD, you'll need to uh, install AMD drivers on your system. And it says, do you want to restart now? I'm going to go ahead and restart now. Once that's done, you should be back at the desktop. I've got VMware Workstation open here. And we're going to install uh, the VMware Toolkit. We're going to go ahead and click on that and install it. You'll see a little box popping up once we click on this saying DVD uh, drive. So click on there and it will then ask us to run the setup to install the VMware Toolkit on the system. This can also rectify a few problems that you might be having. So I'm going to go ahead and get that installed. You can see there's the lag on the mouse there, and that is the issue that I'm having. You can see it's very, very laggy, and the problem is still not resolved. But I will get to it at the end. You'll see that the problem will be fixed. So we're going to go ahead and install this uh, toolkit on the system for the VMware workstation. So we'll let that install. And again, you might need to restart your PC after you've done each of these things on your computer. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And once that's done, we've got a couple of more things that we can try before we actually uh, boot up the VMware workstation with Windows 11 on it to see whether this fixes the problem. You can see it's virtually unusable right now, and that's because the issue is still there. So let me go ahead and try and shut this down because it's causing a few issues here still, and we haven't resolved the problem yet. So what I'm going to do here is hit the start button here if I can. You can see it's literally grinding to a halt here. So I'm going to quickly go here, start button, click shut down, and we'll shut down the actual virtual machine. Once the virtual machine is shut down, we can check a few more settings here inside the edit virtual uh, machine settings here. We're going to check the memory, make sure you've got enough memory 16 gigabytes is what I've got mine set to. The processors here, you don't want two processors. You only want to use one. That can cause an issue. And I'm also going to do the number of cores per processor. And I've got mine set to two here. And I'm just going to do this. And hopefully this will resolve the issue. Also, what you can do is on VMware Workstations icon here, right click on this and go to Properties. And then we're going to run this as administrator all the time. Sometimes this fixes the problem for a lot of people and sometimes it doesn't so go to advanced and make sure you put the run as administrator check mark in there click ok and then you might see this uh, access denied click continue and hopefully that program will then run as administrator once we do that now one more thing that we can try here is this next one here which is go into your search on your main system and type core isolation memory integrity is great at protecting your computer, but it causes havoc with virtual machines. And if you've got that on, you want to toggle that off and restart your PC. Once you restart your PC, you'll be able to boot up your virtual machine like you're seeing here. And you can already see the massive difference in performance. It's booting up with no problems whatsoever. And we should get to the desktop very, very quickly. So memory integrity is probably one of the biggest culprits as well for this particular problem. So you do need to uh, fix that. And you can see now it's functioning properly. The mouse is really responding and the virtual machine is working exactly how it should be. And that's basically how you can fix a slow or sluggish virtual machine on VMware Workstation using these uh, particular fixes. Hope this video has been some sort of use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. A quick apology to everyone uh, who haven't had their name going up on the screen recently because I've been on holiday and they've been a bit outdated, but I've now resolved that issue with this list. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.